the Bible declares that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Have you ever been down to a place that looked like you just can't make it? Look like the enemy's about to run rapid all over you. Look like he's just about to have his way all around you. And all of a sudden there comes a wind. There comes a stirring in the Holy Ghost. And you find strength that you didn't know you had. And you're able to lift yourself up and crowd with a loud voice that, Lord, you know, can't nobody do it like Jesus. Come on, somebody need to give him praise just because he is your strength. When I'm weak, he is strong. When I'm sick, he's my healer. Anybody ever been to that point that you know you had to lean on him? And thank God he's a good leaning post. Then he said, I can lean on him. Nobody like Jesus. Nobody like Jesus. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. Reverend Earl, I was looking for you, so would you please come? Please come and lead us in prayer. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. Nobody but God. Nobody but God. You know, I'd be glad when the people of God get a severe and serious hunger for God. I said something there. Many of us sit in the congregation and we wait on somebody to entertain us. As we say in the church world, pump and grind us. But I dare you to come in the house for a thirst for God. Run in the house saying, God, if you don't do it, I never will be able to make it. Grab somebody by the hand. you said in your 
your word. You've already answered it. So, Father, I believe your word, and so I just thank you now for answer to prayer. It's not about a feeling, Lord. We take our faith and go get what's ours that's due to us by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. You said if that we're healed by the blood of Jesus, and Lord God, we just receive it by faith. You said that you have supplied all of our needs according to your riches and glory through and by Christ Jesus. By faith we receive it, oh God. Father, we thank you for deliverance in this place. We thank you that you're shifting mindsets right now in this place, oh God. And Father, only you know and the person standing at the altar what they've come in need of. But Father, we thank you that it's already done. And Father, by faith, I pray that my brothers and sisters reach up and receive what belongs to them through the shed blood of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare and set myself in agreement with the word of God as it goes forth to manifest those needs in the lives of my brothers and my sisters, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray for restored health in this body of believers, oh God. I decree and declare that every organ functions to perfection for the purpose it was created by you, almighty God. And every disease that brings death and destruction to the body we renounce you now in the name of Jesus and we send you back to the pit of hell from whence you've come I speak to the bodies of believers here in Shiloh and I command them to be healed now in Jesus name Father I thank you that the eyes of our understanding are enlightened oh God and we get to see you in a new way oh God we thank you Holy Spirit that you lead guide and direct us into all truth Oh God, and we're not just coming here for a habitual Sunday morning practice, oh God, but we're coming expecting to see the manifestation of your word in our lives. Grow us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Separate us from those things that mean us no good. Separate us from the people who mean us no good, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And connect us with those people, Father, who have our divine destiny in mind that will propel us forward in you, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for Shiloh, this church body, your church, oh God. Hallelujah. And I call this church blessed, highly favored of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that we are on assignment to destroy the works of the devil in this region, oh God. And I thank you that there are mighty men and women strong in faith. Lord God, just like Abraham, strong in faith, oh God, to go and get what belongs to us through the shed blood of Jesus and then give out to those who are in need, Lord God. I call this region prosperous because of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in this area through the believers at Shiloh, oh God. I call us mature Christians, oh God. Hallelujah. We're not led by what we see, but we walk by faith each and every day, oh God, expecting the man manifestation in Jesus name Lord God I just apply the blood of Jesus to this body of believers I apply the blood to our mind our will our emotions our physical bodies our mental health oh God to every possession oh God to our cars to the places we live to the boundaries of our homes oh God our property lines our developments where we live and I rebuke you Satan in the authority of Jesus name we are blood bought, we are redeemed, and I forbid you, you will not touch this body of believers, you will not touch our finances, you will not touch what belongs to us through the shed blood of Jesus, you will not touch our children, our grandchildren, or our great-grandchildren, you will not touch our health or our lives, you will not touch our increase in the name of Jesus, you will not touch our health, our strength, our wellness in the name of Jesus, you will touch our spiritual growth and development in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we bind and rebuke every assignment, work, strategy, plot, scheme, hex, curse of the enemy this day in Jesus' name. Lord God, I thank you for our pastor. Lord, I pray your anointing overflow onto him, oh God. I thank you that everything he touches is blessed, oh God. He's surrounded with blessed people that are speaking into his life. And I thank you that his faith source, oh God, 
in the name of Jesus like never before. Hallelujah. And we give you praise for the first family. We pray your blessings and abundance over them, oh God. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We thank you that they reside in the secret place of the Most High God, inaccessible to you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we just give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. And I decree and declare that this is the year of heaven on earth here at Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I decree and declare that yokes are destroyed. Hallelujah. And burdens are removed by the anointing this day, oh God. I thank you for the mighty word that's coming forth. I decree and declare that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word. And when we hear this word today, our faith is going to soar, oh God. Hallelujah. I thank you that you're taking us to new heights, deeper heights in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare that we walk by faith, not by what we see, oh God. And Father, I take authority over every negative word spoken out of our mouth, about us, to us, or in our hearing, oh God. I command every negative word, the power of those words. I call you stillborn in the realm of the spirit. I forbid you to produce after your own kind in Jesus' name. And I just release Jesus because he is Genesis to revelation over this body of believers. Jesus be manifested here at Shiloh. Jesus be manifested in our lives individually and corporately. Jesus and Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. We welcome you to come and minister. Hallelujah. We welcome you, Holy Spirit.
feel a change in the atmosphere. Somebody ought to break loose. It is so. I am blessed. I am delivered. 